Hello guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. This is a really weird camera angle. <laughs> I feel funny. Um, guys, please let me know when you pop on. Say hey, let me know if you can hear me and see me. I'm going to get this pulled up on my iPad. So somebody say hey. Hope that you guys are having a great Friday. You made it. For everybody who's worked all week and you're exhausted, you made it to Friday. So you can do this. Just a little more of your work day and then we'll be done. Somebody let me know if they can see me and hear me. So, oh, hi. Who is that? Hi, Marty. Glad you're here. Hi, Tana. I'm so glad y'all are here. Good morning. Good morning. Or afternoon. It's really afternoon. But I haven't talked to anybody besides my family, so it feels like morning, you know, when you haven't been kind of quiet around here. Just working away. So how's everybody doing? Hi, Tracy. Thank you so much. I know you're sprinkling me over to the Craft Around the Clock group. Guys, if you're watching me on my page and not in the group, I want you to go up to the description of this video when we're done and go to the group. You are not going to believe all the amazing crafters that are in there. Can y'all hear me okay? Because it's got my, <clears throat> it has got my, I've got a cute wood slice. So, you know, these, I love painting on these. I've painted on these forever. You get them at Amazon, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. It's a great surface to paint on for something different. We're going to do this flower and bumblebee. It's going to be super cute and easy. So hang with me. If you don't normally paint, you're going to be able to do this. We had a paint party last night. My camera is so angled down, um, it feels weird. So I hope that y'all can see good. Maybe this will be actually a good angle for you guys. Hi, Susan. Hi, Trisha. Glad y'all are here. Hi, Cindy. Good, you can hear me fine. Thank you for letting me know. Good afternoon. Hi, Brooke. Happy Friday. Hi, Debbie. Hello, Sue. Thank you, Tana. Hi, Jane. I think I might have caught most people. Hi, Jeanette and Monica. Hello. We missed you last night, Monica, but replay, replay. Okay, guys, go ahead and keep talking, chatting amongst yourselves. You can ask me questions. I promise I will reply to all of them um, unless I just don't see them. And if I don't see it, you can message me individually or whatever. I'm going to get out a little paint palette and put some paint down and show y'all how easy this is. I love to show how easy painting on really anything is or can be. The type of art that I do, if you're not familiar with me, is just fun, whimsical, happy art. And so here's what the wood slice comes like. It's in a little package. Um, if anybody wants to screenshot that, I hopefully I turned my camera, I did. Uh, this is Basswood Country Round is the brand. Uh, always great quality. I've never had any kind of problem with any of them that I've ordered and I've painted on lots of them. And you can always go back on my tutorials on my page or on YouTube and see other ones that I've done. I pretty much do one for every holiday. I really, really enjoy painting on these. And when you're done, you can either set it up in like a little um, easel, like a small easel, or you can hang it. You can add something to the back to hang it. So a lot of versatility with these. So I've just sketched on a design and I'm gonna do the background in this beautiful uh, sea breeze color. It's gonna really pop against the flowers that I'm doing. So just gonna go in here and I usually start in this crevice of the flower and kind of work my way out. And then you don't have to be careful anymore. Then you can spread out, but I'm just, I've got a round brush, number five round. That is typically my go-to for things like this. I use a round brush for a lot of flowers. And um, sometimes I just challenge myself, like, can you do all this in one brush? I mean, <laughs> just for fun. But, you know, a good set of brushes, and I don't mean expensive, I just mean a good, good well-made set will really do a lot of the work for you. And as you can see, we're just coloring this in almost like a coloring book at first. We'll add some things later to make it look pretty. But right now, you're just getting your base coat down. Anybody can do this. You could set this in front of a, a child and they can do it. Because you're literally just, when you have a tracer like what I give people, then you can really just go in 
and be successful by just painting it in. Um, I used to teach paint parties for anybody that doesn't know me, and that's how we needed to do it. You know, you come in with a pre-sketched canvas because people are intimidated to look at just a plain blank slate. And so it's ready for you to be successful. And then once you've done some of these with a tracer, then you realize, hey, I don't need that tracer. I can do that. So um, don't feel bad about using a tracer. I still use them sometimes because placement, you know, can be tricky. Sometimes if I freehand it, I've got the flower, you know, kind of big over here and smaller over here. So sometimes the tracer is real handy. But anyway, um, tell me how y'all are doing today. Oh, Connie, um, I will, I don't know how to, so I have brushes that I absolutely love. These are deco art and my go-to for just daily brushes. Then I have some that I use for details and those are all in my Amazon store because I've, I've got them all pinned and you can, I actually put my website in the description up here at the top. And so you can click on that website and on one of the pages it says my favorite supplies and then you can see there what I use. And I can answer in more detail when I'm done. I want to be sure I can get through this in time or I would stop and, you know, but I can definitely help y'all with brushes and things. And I'm using deco art, pretty much everything. I asked them to be an affiliate because that was all I'm u I use. I mean, I've tried everything and this is my favorite paint. And um, at that point I had not used their brushes. I just used their paint pretty much exclusively. So I literally ask them, you know, hey, this is all I use, and I'm sending all of my friends to you guys. You know, we, we're all using it. We love it. But can I be an affiliate? Because, you know, I felt like I was an employee of theirs for nothing. So they did allow me to be an affiliate. So I do get a small percentage if you use my link, and you don't have to. It's just, I just like the paint. So if you want to help me, then you can use my link. And if not, that's fine. Totally. Just go Try it if you want to. You can get it at Michael's Hobby Lobby and online. But it is good, creamy, great coverage, as you can see. Many times, you only need one coat. Now, I usually do two coats, but it's excellent coverage. Anyway, they did send me the brushes to try, and I actually love them. I told the girls that are in my private group, I said, don't go buy them yet. Let me try them. And I mean, for six months, I tried them. Like, I didn't want, wanted to see how they wore, you know, when you clean them and stuff over and over. And um, I'm very pleased with them. So, I can happily recommend their brushes as well. But I also use um, Royal and Lang, 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 I can't say that. I can never say it. Royal and Lang Nickel, something like that, brushes. And I use Daco, D-A-C-O, detail brushes. Those are the ones I'm talking about all of these are in my store or on my favorites list. So, um, that answers that, I guess. Oh, thanks, Cindy. Thank you for the stars, Deborah. Good morning or good afternoon to you guys. Depends on where you are, east or west. Do you, Anna? I'm so glad because I always feel like I'm, I'm not trying to sell it. I'm not. I just love it. And so, you know, we, we like to share what we like and what works for us. And I just try to tell everybody the why I like it because of the coverage and the colors and uh, the creaminess of the paint. But that doesn't mean, you know, everybody has to use it. I do go back and answer all your comments. So please don't feel like I'm ignoring you. If you're saying something to me, I want to know. And I always, I'm always, you know, happy to see who is here. So you guys just ask away. Does anybody have anything fun planned for the weekend? Hopefully the weather, but are we at a stars party? I saw some pop. Thank you, Christy. I'm sure I'm missing people. I'm so sorry, but I will go back because I love to know. You know, I, I want to thank you individually if you're doing stars. Do not have to. It's, you know, just totally optional for anybody that wants to. It's like a tip for people that don't know. Sometimes I'll see people say, what are stars? I don't understand. 
So if you're new to stars, it's just like giving us a tip. You know, you can buy stars. Um, I think I want to say they're a penny each, right? And something like that. And just donate them to your favorite, you know, people that are showing you tips or tricks or things like that, creators. Um, it's just something that Facebook does to allow us to make a little bit of income. And we sure do appreciate it, but it is not, you know, expected. And Christy, I have had so much fun looking at the art that we did last night. I saw yours beautiful. I can tell you went back and did a lot to it. It was so pretty. All of them. That's one of my funnest things is to see how we can take a painting and then everybody puts their unique twist on it and it comes out just looking so cool and so unique. And I love, love seeing that. So if you haven't attended a paint party, they're a lot of fun. You get the opportunity to chat with people and uh, we do it on Zoom so you can actually see them you know, unless they don't want their camera on, which is fine. But um, for anybody that does, it's fun to put put faces to names. And, you know, you, you're used to talking to people online, but not face-to-face -face always. So it's a lot of fun. Okay, so we've got our good base coat on for the, yeah, for the, um, for the background. Thank you, guys. I have to stop and look. Yes, Catherine, I love stars parties. They're fun. Thank you, Debbie, for the stars. Hi, Maria. Hi, Michelle. Yes, I get these um, through a wholesale company. I'll, if you'll message me, I'll, I'll give you the info. Just message me. Um, let's see, who else? I do too, Christy, Sunflowers and Beans. Thank you, Jacqueline and Janice and Anne. Good afternoon to you guys. Sorry, y'all. Every time I'll pull it down and then it goes back up. So I'm gonna have to just answer you guys individually when I get done. So bear with me, bear with me. Okay, so that's good for our background. Now your wood, um, I didn't do this when I took it out of the package, but you know, you kinda wanna hit it and shake it a little bit. Thank y'all for the hearts and all that good stuff. That actually, did y'all know that actually helps us to get, Facebook will show it to more people when y'all do that, which I love. Okay, so we're gonna get three colors for our flower. We are gonna um, do a, base coat and then a couple of like a dark and a light you know we're gonna have three shades of this color so this is like a watermelon color it's called watermelon slice <laughs> and then I'm gonna have some white I'm gonna mix with it I'm gonna put a little yellow with it and then just a I think I'm gonna use red not black a lot of times I'll do just a tiny dot of black, but let's do red because I don't want this too dark. Come on, come on, come on. I always feel like I'm rushing. I'm sorry, guys. I just want to be sure I can get done in the time frame. Oh, Catherine, you're so sweet. Thank you. It's okay if we don't make it. Yeah, Christy, I think we, me and you probably use a lot of the same, don't we? So this is, again, just my same round brush. I just cleaned it off. And I'm going to go in with this red color on my brush, so just on the tip. Then I'm also gonna go into my watermelon. So I'm getting quite a bit of paint on there, and they're both on my brush. And we're just gonna go in and kind of lay down this base color. So this makes the, the shade a little darker than if I had just used the watermelon to have that red with it doesn't need to be perfect and I'm just going into that center spot so I've got my circle but it's okay if I go on into it because that's going to be brown so you don't have to even be neat when you're doing this so just dipping it into those two colors oh we did y'all did it y'all did it thank you I appreciate you guys so much that's fun on a Friday right there. That's fun. We all, we all get so happy. Because sometimes we don't make it. And then you're like, oh, man. But, you know, it's just all in fun. It's really, I think Facebook, for all of their faults, 
they're trying to help us creators as much as they can, um, you know, to find people who enjoy what we do and then to just help us have fun while we're doing it. So I appreciate it. I kept hearing a rumor that they're stopping stars. I don't know if it's true or not. Do y'all, does anybody know the truth on that? So I hope y'all can see that you can do this. This is just, the brush is doing the work for me. I'm just filling it in, trying to be careful around this little bee. But even if I get on the bee, it's okay, we're gonna fix it. Y'all may hear my dog bark. There's a lot of commotion over here today. Y'all have a dog that barks at the Amazon guy and all those, you know, anybody, anybody that walks a dog or is walking down the street, she's going to let us know about it. I got to take a, I'm going 90 to nothing in, at least in my head. <laughs> so I got to take a look at the comments for real quick. Isn't it pretty, Christy? Oh, Catherine, you're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know, Brooke. Awesome. Y'all are awesome. Allison, thank you. And Marty, Christy, you guys sent too many. I can already tell because I think some of y'all did it twice. Oh, that's good, Emma. Hi, Christina. I hope you feel decent today. Our friend Christina's in the hospital. Y'all give her some love. Just some hearts and some some wish her her well. If you are a praying person, write down the name Christina and pray for her today. She sure needs it. Um, I really, that's part of my community. You know, I've got a private group and, you know, people who gravitate to it, they understand that I'm a prayer. I'm going to pray for my people and for my friends. And um, I really, I really love that about our community that you guys let me be me. And I know that not everybody is all about that, and that's okay. You know, you're welcome around me. You're welcome in my community. I don't, you know, I totally understand. Everybody's different, but um, I just love that, that my ladies are so sweet and so good to me. They let me be me. They put up with my craziness. I have this hat for a reason because, you know, it just kind of says it all, doesn't it? Anybody relate to the chaos coordinator thing? My camera fell the other day and they got to see my chaos. So my um, studio, art room, craft room, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, behind me it's all nice and neat and beautiful and over here is all shelves full of my supplies and it's neat, pretty neat. And over here I've got more things stacked up paints all in a cabinet here, but then all over here is just storage. It's just cram packed of storage. Well, my camera fell during a live and they got to see all that mess. So then they were like, oh, I see why she's the chaos coordinator. I really need more storage, but you can't be, what's that phrase? You can't get blood out of a turnip and you can't make storage where there just isn't any. That is part of, that's the leaf. Okay, I had to figure out, now I'm upside down, so I'm having to figure out what I have drawn here. That's the leaf to this stem. Just going around that. Tell me if you're watching me from the Craft Around the Clock group, or are you watching me on my page? And if you're new, guys, welcome. You may have just popped in, and my name is Deb. I love teaching women how to reduce stress and increase joy and find a supportive community through art and crafts. So welcome. If you're just stumbling in, I'm happy you're here, and we have a lot of fun. We have an amazing group of ladies that hang around.
So as you can see, hopefully, the brush is doing the work. I am loading it with these two colors and then just kind of filling it in, but it's giving me such a beautiful base for this flower. Let's see if y'all can see that. So very little work at all. In fact, really no work. You're just putting your brush down and, and what I'm doing, just so y'all can see better on a piece of white paper, is I'm putting my brush down kind of soft and then pressing hard and then bringing it back up soft, okay? So put your brush down kinda, let's see if I can get this as close to you as I can. Put it down soft, bring it down, press hard now, and then come bring it back up soft again, okay? That's all you're doing. And then we're just gonna go on top of that with some other colors and just kind of blend and make some pretty petals, okay? So now I'm gonna take this palette, y'all can see, and I'm gonna mix this watermelon color, color over here. I'm not cleaning my brush, it's fine if it's got some red on it. And I'm gonna add some of this yellow and get another pretty color. I like a lot of yellow in there. And I don't even have to mix it really great because I kind of like there to be, you know, the distinction. You'll see some yellow in there. And then I'm going to take some white and mix that with some of this for a really light color. I actually want some yellow in that too. So now I've got my three colors. I've got the base, this base, the middle shade, and then the light shade. And so now I'm just going to take, you know, that darker and then some of that lighter and then some of the really light and just do again, kind of go through here and give it some, some swipes. We're not done. This is only, we'll do one more after this. But as you can see, the brush is doing it. I'm just swiping it on. I'm not, I'm doing it fast so that I don't have to think about it. And I, you don't want to overthink. It's almost kind of a dry brush technique here. Okay, that's it. So we've got our already our second little layer here. Easy guys, y'all can do this. Thank you for sprinkling by the way. Carla, it is in my VIP group. So if you're in the VIP group ladies, then you have this, uh, this tracer and, and the supply list and everything. Um, Oh, good. Glad to have you here, Tim. <laughs> uh, hi, Terry. Hi, Lori. Glad you're here, girl. Yes, Cheryl. Good. I love craft around the clock. Oh, let's see. Maria. Yes, I know. I want my t-shirt bad. I'm waiting on it. Joyce, you did watch the video last night that was completely lost. You, which video, Joyce? Do you mean in the VIP group? Okay, I am going to come back here and add a little more yellow. I really want to see some yellow in here. So let me just mix that up. And then I'm just going to kind of add this as well. So I'm going to kind of come in here and... Just add it kind of on top. But do you see how it's already getting more interesting just by adding the layers? Y'all think you can do this? Okay, Joyce, well, let me pop in there after this is over. I'll go live in the group and we can figure out what you're having trouble with and I'll help you, okay? Aw, thank you, Tiza. Hi, Judy. 
Hi, Allison. Thank you. <laughs> Tisa, I've got to add the brushes. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. Oh, Anna. So I have a um, I have a free group. It's called Art and Craft Showcase. And occasionally I have friends come in. We do a collaboration event in there. And so if you get in that group, you'll see a lot of videos. Just go to the guides and just look for all the videos. Lots of things in that group. And then off of that group, I started a private group called the VIP or Art and Craft VIPs. And that stands for um, Very Important People. I mean, not... It doesn't stand for VIP, very important people. It stands for very inspiring people because all of the people that are in my group inspire me every day. So um, anyway, that's a it's a private group that you, that's paid. And we do, okay, let me tell y'all real quick. I'm going back with the darker red and this melon color, and I'm gonna do the bottoms of these little uh, flowers. So just kind of to give them some separation. So where this one separates, see, I'm just putting that, that darker shade and we're just gonna swipe it on at the bottom of each petal. So in the VIP group, we have presenters come in, a couple of presenters a month and they'll do something for my girls. And then we have a paint party once a month, which we just had last night. We I teach in there uh, once a week. And then we have, you guys can put your, your pictures in there of everything that you're creating. And at the end of the month, I draw one person who's submitted pictures for a $20 Amazon gift card so they can buy more supplies. So we have a lot of fun and it's just kind of a smaller community where you can ask questions, get help, uh, get to know each other if you want to and have things given like the tracers and supply list and suggestions and um, you know if I sell something like right now I have art kits for sale then they get the discount if if I'm selling it you know to the public they're going to get a discounted price because they're in that VIP group so that's what that is and right now it's not open but if you get on the wait list then as soon as there's an opening, I email the list and let them know if anybody wants in. So the wait list is good to get on. Because sometimes we have secret openings. We just did for um, Women's Day. Okay, so there's my finished flower, except for I think I'm going to go back and do some highlights on it. But see how pretty it comes together when you're just layering on top of what you're done. So I'm just going to add some white to this color, get the lighter color, and then just come back and do a little bit of highlights on this other side. So where I put the shadow, I'm coming over to this other side and I'm going to put a little bit of a highlight. Same brush, I haven't even changed brushes. And then I'm gonna switch to the top here of this petal. Okay, and that flower is done. Um, Cheryl, you can go to the website. So up here in the description of this video, I put a link to my website. And on one of the pages, it says uh, membership. Gives you information and, and there's a link you can sign up to be on that wait list. Okay, let's do the stem. We're going to get out some green. And a little tiny dot of black, not much. And I've already got some yellow. So I'm going to come over here. Let me get a smaller brush. I'm going to come over here and get a tiny bit of black. And then add some of this green and get a dark green. Like a forest green color. And then we're going to do that stem. So I'm just going to start. Let me roll my brush. 
If you'll take your brush and just kind of roll it into a point, that definitely helps. So I'm gonna just take my brush, start here, and go down. And then let's do the same thing for this leaf. I'm gonna do the bottom in this dark color. And then go right into my regular green and kind of blend that in. And then I'm gonna take a touch of yellow and then a little tiny bit of white on the top. So now I've got my darkest shade here at the bottom and then a little yellow and then a little white. So you've got a nice blend in here. And I'm kind of doing the same on the stem, just bringing a little bit of yellow down through here. And then I'll come back in here to the white and add a little white. Okay, and then you got a pretty stem. And then we'll do the same here over on this side for the leaf. That's it on that. Let's see. Let me beat, check my time. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Hi, Paula. Thank you, Becky. Marty. What does that mean? Oh, did I have 50 people? Oh, thank you. Um, Cheryl. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Jacqueline. I have that's you couldn't say anything kinder to me. Thank you. I am certainly far from perfect, but I definitely have given my business to God and want it to be whatever He wants it to be. Um, so I appreciate that. It's His, and you know, really. My main purpose of doing things online is to help women um, reduce stress. That's, that's it, because I was in such a bad place when my mom had Alzheimer's and, and her death that, that uh, I know what art did for me during that time, and I want to help other women find that. And so, you know, if, if I can help reduce stress for whatever, you know, it doesn't have to be Alzheimer's. It might be cancer, it might be a child that's in trouble, it might be um, financial issues, whatever it is, you know, we all have something that we're dealing with, so I just hope that I can help people relax and have a little bit of joy. I try to really um, focus on the positive, because we all have the negative, and there's, all you know, always negative going on in the world. All I'm doing here is just kind of touching up if I went over anything, and then I'm going to paint this little bee's wings. Um, we'll do the We'll do the, actually, let's do the middle right now before I do the B. So I'm gonna get some brown. And then I've got a little black over here. I'm gonna pull my black over onto this palette. I'm pretty messy with my palettes. I don't know how people do the really neat palettes. I'm not neat with that. I'm getting, see, kind of a, a blackish brown, a really dark, dark brown. That's going to be my base coat. And I'm going to come in here and just kind of do a circle with it. Go around this little bee. Getting the base coat on here. It's 
So y'all, I hope you answered me because I said, is anybody doing anything fun this weekend? So let me know. I'll go back and read. I don't think I am doing anything fun, but I have a lot going on. I have a lot to do. But let me assure you, it will include some art and crafts because that's fun. And we have to have some time for that. Oh, Cheryl, thank you. Oh, Jennifer, good. Like, I, I say it all the time, you know, to people that are on my text alerts or whatever. I'm like, pop on. If you can stay five minutes, great. Because five minutes of some fun or seeing something different when you're working. You know, you work all day. We all do. And take a break and don't feel bad. If you're at work, put in an earbud and put your hair down. Or go off to the restroom. Take your phone and spend five minutes with some art or something that relaxes you. You'll go back better and work better. I Trust me. Um, okay, so we've got that base down here. I'm going to quickly, before my paint dries over here, come back in and add some right here of this berry or watermelon color because that really needed to be right there. Okay, so now we're back in business. Now I'm going to take my brown, just my plain brown. All I've done is... All I've done is get into the brown and just kind of pounce it a few times and I'm just going to pounce it on here. So I've got that dark color and now I'm just pouncing some of the lighter color. I'm going to go back into my dark, dark brown and pounce it all around this circle. So here's the circle and I'm just going to pounce. And that way it comes up into the flower part just almost like it really would, you know, in nature. Just kind of that, uh, hmm, what's the word? Kind of a fuzzy edge. Does that make sense? So just pouncing. Guys, you can do this. You need to try this because as you can see, very few brushes, just a few colors of paint, and you don't even have to use my colors. You just use what you have on hand and just try the technique because you'll surprise yourself. And then I'm just pouncing it throughout so that it kind of blends together. This is all really personal preference anyway. You know, you might want to do yours a different way. And then I'll pounce in some of that other brown. Okay. And then I am gonna come over here, grab a little bit of yellow and mix that with some of brown and probably a little black too to get a lighter kind of tan, I don't know, brown tan, whatever you want to call it, and just pounce some of that in so that it's not so, so dark. Okay, now. See it? I can never tell what, okay, yeah. It takes my iPad a minute to catch up to what you guys are seeing. We got five minutes, y'all, we're good. So let's do the B. I'm gonna put out a little bit of light blue, just a little bit of light blue. That's too much. I'm wasting a lot of paint today. I always do when I'm timed for an event because I'm like in a hurry and I just squirt it out. And then add that with some white. And I definitely got too much blue. And then I'm gonna add, hold on. I'm gonna add just a dot of black to kind of bring in some gray. So it's kind of a grayish blue, grayish light blue. And then I'm just gonna wipe off my brush and then kind of reapply that color on it. We, I live in Texas, South Fort Worth, on the border of Fort Worth and Burleson, and it is gorgeous here today. Like, it's probably going to be downright hot. I believe it's supposed to be in the 80s. But for me, that's, I love it. That's perfect. I do not like it when it's, you know, July and August, but I love this time of year. It's my favorite.
If you don't want to buy a wood slice, you can use any piece of wood that you have around your house, or maybe you've got something that you don't want anymore. You can paint on the back of it, or you can use a canvas or a uh, mixed media pad, or you could do this on watercolor paper or mixed media paper and make a card out of it. So many things you can do. So if you see, you know, one of us doing something, but you're like, oh, I don't want to get a wood slice. Well, just think outside the box and think what, what you have that you could use. Okay. Hi, April. How are you today? Oh, Deborah, thank you so much for stars. He does have a work day, April. I can't do it because of my bag, but he does. Um, okay, I'm going to do my yellow. And guys, I hardly ever ask this um, because I really do want only, you know, if you enjoy this, to follow me. So I kind of forget to even say, but if you're not following and you do enjoy this type of art, um, please up here just, you can click the screen and then three little dots will pop up. And if you would just follow, you know, along, I would really appreciate it. That helps us. It helps, you know, shows Facebook that people enjoy what we're doing and all that. So Follow along if you want to see more, and be sure you're in the Craft Round the Clock group where you can see all kinds of crafters every day, Monday through Friday, live, all day long, and it usually goes from early in the morning until 10 o'clock at night, and then when, whenever they're not live, you've still got a million replays you can watch, so there's always something to see and do in that group. And of course, in my Art and Craft Showcase, there's lots of tutorials as well, and on my page. So we try to give y'all lots of variety, because not everybody likes the same things. And you're just introduced to lots of other creators. Thank y'all for sprinkling this out. That's one of the best things you can do for us, and we appreciate it so much. There might be somebody who needs a little pick-me-up, and by sprinkling it, you know, they they might just click on it and go, oh, what's this about, you know? Okay, so I'm going to come up here with the same brush and just line my little bee. Ooh, I'm up. The only thing I'm going to do after this is I'm going to go in and kind of make some marks on my wings like this and I will add a few of these in my flower and then I'll post a photo okay guys thank you for being here that 45 minutes went super fast I hope you enjoyed this I hope it was a little bright spot in your day and if you enjoy it follow along for more and I will see you guys next time bye